电视。今天我们要聊的是。<笑>台湾的偶像剧。So a lot of people ask us why we came to Taiwan and why we learned Chinese, and that's all because of Taiwanese dramas. Yeah, pretty much. I, I actually got into Taiwanese dramas because of Taiwanese friends in Canada.、Mm -hmm. So I guess they're the original reason, kind of. But the fact that they got me into Taiwanese dramas is kind of why, like, I continued to like want to learn Chinese and then be interested in Taiwan. Oh, yeah, totally. well, I didn't have any Taiwanese friends.、Okay. I was watching a lot of Korean dramas at that time and Japanese ones, and I was like, oh, well, I'm bored. There's nothing to watch anymore. So、mm. I'm like, what's this Taiwanese dramas? And I, I had a very, very bad first experience. Okay, which love contract? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was like, like, I'm so surprised you kept watching Taiwanese dramas though, because I know, right? That's not the best one to start with. <laughs> It's so depressing. The ending, I was really shocked. Well, don't spoil the people. Okay. <laughs> If you haven't watched it, it was like ten years ago. <laughs> you can still watch it. Even though this is pretty bad, yeah, just don't listen for a second if you haven't watched it. But she walks into the ocean <laughs> and dies. and just dies. No, you don't know, but like I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty she sure she does. I'm pretty sure she does. Okay, that's bad. But you、that's、kept watching. But I kept watching somehow.、Okay. But I, I, after that, I also like did beside you, why, why, love, and that kind of thing. So it got better. Yeah. Yeah. I think the first one that I watched was、um, Brown Sugar. Macchiato. Yeah, Macchiato. Yeah, but I kind of just watched it over the shoulder of my friend. <laughs> like I didn't know Chinese and I couldn't really understand much. But like me and my friend would just like be behind her older sister, like eating or something, and then we just kind of watch it with her. And then after that, I think I watched eighteen, like eighteen Jin Bu Jing. It was kind of similar, like people in it, and really stupid. Yeah. So basically. Well, I don't know because you have you have Taiwanese friends. Well, Korean dramas was already starting to be a thing. Friends at the time. Well, that when was that? Like oh, ten <laughs> years ago. Yeah, yeah. But it started to be a thing. Korean dramas, and then,、okay. but I was still the only one to to watch actually Taiwanese dramas. It's only when I was in high school that people started to watch it too.、Mm. It's like people that are into Korean dramas in France they. At least watch one or two Taiwanese drama, and they were all about Aaron Yan. Really? <laughs> they all. I don't know. It was maybe because in a certain period of time, Aaron Yan was only filming dramas,、uh -huh. but it was only like dramas about him being the arrogant lawman and be、oh, like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So a lot of people liked him. Like, if you go to France and be like, who is your favorite Taiwanese actor? If they are into it, they will say Aaron Yan. He's so shy. <laughs> I never met anyone in Canada like a Caucasian person, person or like non-Asian person who、mm -hmm. was into Taiwanese、Taiwan. dramas, and people didn't like people that I knew didn't really get into Korean dramas until like university. That's yeah, when I that found out that people liked them, and then <laughs> and then I think like in high school some people were into Japanese stuff like、mm. anime. Or、yeah. Japanese dramas, maybe, but I never got into it. So,、mm. yeah, I think Taiwanese dramas are still kind of、uh, a small genre. Like, I, I feel like、mm. not that many people、mm. outside of Taiwan watch. Yeah. yeah, so people are usually like really surprised when they ask, like, <laughs>、yeah. they ask us why we started learning Chinese or something, and we mention Taiwanese dramas. But、yeah. even more when I go to KTV with friend, Taiwanese friends, and oh yeah, people, yeah, and that people that don't know me, they're like, "How do you know that much old songs?" And I'm like, "Me too." That's my teenage time. Me too. Like, when I was a kid, I was watching this drama. I think I this one. My favorite old one is、uh, "It Started with a Kiss."、Oh. Yeah, that one was good. It, It was, was so stupid, actually. Like, if you go back and watch them now. <laughs> I wouldn't like them probably, and it、yeah. would look so stupid because their special effects were really bad. Like her house, there's like an earthquake. <laughs> crumble, <laughs> crumble, crumble down. Like a cartoon. Yeah. <laughs> and and like Zisu, Zisu. Yeah, he was like so moody, but I was totally into it at that、mm. time. I think the、yeah. oldest one that I liked is probably Meteor Garden. Meteor Garden. Oh, okay, okay. I watched that. Yeah, 
I don't know. That was really popular. When I, when I watched it, it was already old. Yeah. But I kind of liked it because it's like more. It's not as cheesy as like Why Why Love or Contract. Uh, yeah. Corner with Love. Yeah. It was like more like fighting thing stuff. Yeah, that's true. It wasn't as cheesy yeah. as the yeah. regular. So I like that one. Oh, we were gonna say Devil Beside You. Yeah. I liked that, but only because of <laughs> Micah. <laughs> and then Rainy. I really liked Rainy. I really liked Rainy. She was too. so cute. Yeah. And oh, and then the other person that was with Rainy a lot was Bo Zixiang. Oh my god. Xiao. Xiao Zhu. Yeah, I was so. I was really into him too. It was my husband. <laughs> on my husband's list. Yeah. Yeah. It was mostly his music, but then mm -hmm. he did do some dramas like yeah. uh, Love Corner. Cor no, Corner with love. love. Okay, yeah. I don't know. I had some, uh, it's I the English name, so anyway, I don't know. that's. Still. Yeah. I don't know. Well, at that time I couldn't speak any Chinese, so oh. I never learned how they were. What's their actual name in Chinese? Yeah, only like mostly the older ones. I know. I mean, the newer ones now. Mm -hmm. I know them in Chinese, but then I would always search them in English. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's actually a really good way to learn a language because, mm -hmm. like, as they're translating it, they have like the English above the yeah. Chinese, Chinese subtitles one. too, and then you can kind of match up the words, or mm -hmm. you can like pause it and like go and look up a word or mm -hmm. something. Yeah. yeah, and then as I got better in Chinese, I would like. I wouldn't want to wait for the subtitles to come out. I know. Because it takes a long time. And so I would just watch it, even though I could only understand half of it, maybe. Mm. And then I just have to, like, kind of get the meaning and then, like, look up words all the time. Mm. So, yeah. I don't know. It's a good way to learn. What else? Uh, the weirdest. The weirdest. <laughs> the weirdest the drama world. we've both seen is... The Rose. <laughs> I actually felt... Like guilty. guilty for watching it as I watched it because I thought it was so weird and bad. <laughs> I didn't. I don't think I watched it the whole thing. I'm not sure I got through the whole thing either. But I watched it because it felt kind of bad. Like <laughs> I shouldn't be watching this, but I'm gonna watch it <laughs> like secretly. And if someone like came into my room, I'd be like, <laughs> like I think you were watching porn. Yeah, it wasn't <laughs> porn. It wasn't even that sexual. <laughs> no, but it was like incestual. <laughs> Yeah. Super weird. What about your favorite one? Um, one of my favorites is Well Kanan Buhai Aini. Yeah. Okay. That's a more natural one, it's not as corny. Mm, to me it's I think it was last year start of last year, Fosu the Wei Xiao. Fost Smile. Uh -huh. I, don't I know. loved it. Oh, I didn't watch it. It's it's not corny at all. Well, it wasn't in the in the end of it, because obviously there's this love story to it, but mm. it's more about like hatred and revenge, that kind of stuff. Oh, okay. that's pretty good. Okay, you should watch it. Um, um, we have a list of all of our all of the dramas we've watched actually up online. Yeah, and Julie's is shocking. <laughs> <laughs> it shows you how I'm she doesn't have a life. I mean. <laughs> She has spent 313 days Nearly a year Watching dramas I am a Taiwanese Yeah, but those are like, those include Korean, Korean dramas, Japanese, Japanese, and Thai And Thai, as well as Taiwanese yeah. yeah For Taiwanese and Korean, I've watched 59 days So, yeah You can do it Yeah I don't want to watch the new <laughs> <It's> insane. <laughs> it just came to that point. Yeah. I don't know how that happened. Insane. I had a life. Yeah. But you spent days like at home watching dramas, I'm yeah. sure. Yeah, I did Well, too. that's part of because how, how I live in France too. Yeah. So I don't I, in France like I could go out in the afternoon in the city when I got sixteen. Mm -hmm. But even at night, I had to go back home, and what you do is watching dramas. Yeah, and plus I was addicted, so... Yeah, and like you finish one, and then you just have to watch the next one, and then before you know it, it's like 5 a.m. <laughs> so, that's all we have for today. Um, let us know what your favorite drama is, or if you have any recommendations for us, although Julie has probably seen all of them. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe I could give you a recommendation. Yeah, you can, <laughs> you can check out her huge list of dramas if you want, and mine too, although it's smaller. And 
yeah, just leave a comment below and let us know, and we'll see you next time. And don't forget to subscribe. Yeah. Okay. Bye. <laughs>